Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the latest version of the Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II. This is reference 126710BLNR. It launched in 2018 with the Next Generation. Rolex GMT Master II. It's 40 millimeters in diameter by 12.1 millimeters thick, 48 millimeters from lug to lug, and 49.5 millimeters from end link to end link with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Pop open the oyster clasp and throw it on the wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and this wears well. It is an easy watch to wear, and unlike the new Submariner, it has not grown at all with the jump in generation, so it'll still wear on a wrist as small as, in my estimation, 13 and a half centimeters circumference when it's on this Jubilee bracelet. Taking a quick look at the Jubilee, the Jubilee historically was always an option on the GMT Master and later GMT Master II. With the arrival of the ceramic bezels and the six-digit reference numbers, that changed for a while. Well, it returned in 2018, and this is different from from the original version of the so-called black and blue or the Batman because it does feature this Jubilee bracelet rather than the original 2013 design's oyster bracelet. Now these days you can get it either way, but a lot of folks think that the modern Super Jubilee is actually a better and more comfortable bracelet for sports than the oyster. More on that in a moment. As you can see, Rolex has a lovely stainless steel. What you can't see is that it's 904L steel, which has a higher nickel content. Rolex makes its own bracelets, clasps, and cases, and it uses this steel because it is more resistant to corrosion, especially in the presence of high concentrations of sodium. So whether sweat or seawater, you do not need to rinse this watch after exposure. Now, that's true of the bracelet, as well as the case about the bracelet. In the era of the so-called Super Jubilee, where we have solid end links, solid center links, thick gauge clasps, it is now as robust as the three-link oyster. We don't need an oyster for sports use. Because it has shorter cross-section links, it's more, well, shall we call it supple? It has greater souplesse on the wrist. It also has more gaps between links to better ventilate the wrist than the oyster. Now, we have removable links on both sides, fixed in place using screws, and we have an oyster clasp. It's double locking. There is this spring-loaded lift lock system with a beak and a hook. They latch once, then the clamshell comes down. There's a little curve so you can dig your nail in and open that clasp. We have a easy link system, snap in, snap out, it's five millimeters of tool-free adjustment, and there are three divots drilled into the clasp. You can see this clasp uh, has three of them, and right now the bracelet's in the middle one. You can use your strap tool to undo the spring bar and move the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp. Rolling back to the case, what I always appreciate about Rolex watches, especially in comparison to Omega, Breitling, and Tudor, is that Rolex watches are thin. And at 12.1 millimeters thick, this is quite thin for an automatic winding dual time watch that's also 100 meters water resistant. Trip lock crown, three symmetrical dots, that means it's a trip lock in steel. And again, 100 meters water resistant, we have a bi-directional bezel. If you set the 24 hour hand to Greenwich Mean Time, then you can use the bezel to offset using the GMT offset of your destination and temporarily find three times on this dial. The one set by the local hand, the one set by the 24-hour hand, which will generally be Greenwich, and then the one indicated by the GMT plus or minus adjustment of the bezel. The bezel has a ceramic insert the insert is filled with platinum to create these numerals and indices. The dial is gloss black lacquer. It has white gold hands and indices for durability. Over time, these will not discolor the way steel will. Cyclops eye magnifier for the date. And of course, you can set the local time separately from the 24-hour hand. This has been a thing since 1983. This is what it means to be a GMT Master II as opposed to a GMT Master. You have two time zones, not just a 24-hour hand that's mechanically linked to the 12-hour hand. Case back, oyster, screw down case back. Movement, caliber 3285, Rolex manufacture, bi-directional automatic winding with a rotor bearing rather than the old jeweled staff. 70-hour power reserve, it has a stop-second function, it has the two time zones, 31 joules, 4 hertz beat rate, COSC certified Swiss chronometer, and pursuant to its certification as a chronometer. It features an overcoil hairspring that helps the watch to keep even time in any position on the wrist or 
during the chronometer test. That hairspring is made of blue oxidized niobium zirconium, highly anti-magnetic. The architecture of the movement involves a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance, which together make for a more robust and shock tolerant movement. Rolex makes every part of this movement, including the lubricants and the shock protection. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.